Hello, I'm Trace, and this is a YouTube channel. What's up, science team? We're out here in the desert today. <laughs> we are out in the desert, and today I am joined with Trace Dominguez. Hey, everybody, what's Trace, up? You have a YouTube channel, don't you? I do, youtube.com slash Trace Dominguez. It's called Una Dose of Trace. New educational videos every week. There'll be a link in the description below. So today we came out to the desert because I came up with this crazy idea. Tell me about we it. We could only do it in the desert. That's where we so, are. So a little while ago, we made this thing called the Christmas Cannon, which is basically an air cannon, and I designed to shoot these kind of like PVC Nerf darts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I started thinking, if I attach a parachute to one of those darts, right, and then shot it straight vertical, right, okay, would there be a point in its flight that the parachute would open up? I see where you're going here. And then it could glide back down to Earth while we attach a GoPro to the back side of it to capture that super cool flight. I mean, there's only one way to find out, I guess. I think so. <laughs> We're in the desert, so let's do it. All right, so here's the air cannon, but more importantly, here is the dart that I have engineered in order for this experiment to work. So what I did is I drilled a hole in the top of this PVC dart, and I threaded through some of the string to the parachute, and I duct taped the back side of this to hold the pressure in there, and I've left some room open here for us to duct tape the GoPro on the back. Easy. <laughs> Very easy. So all I gotta do is duct tape that boy. Yep, there Let's we go. Let's do it. Enough, huh? That's a pretty good amount. It's gotta be safe. But you know, yeah. <laughs> the way that the air cannon works is this, is that we're gonna fill this with some compressed air. It'll be held by this valve right here, which is like a, actually a sprinkler valve. When I pull on this little trigger right here, it's gonna open up this whole system. It's going to push all that compressed air out. Hopefully our dart as well. When it gets to the apex, or the top of its flight or whatever, it's gonna open up and then it's gonna glide back down to earth yeah. with this super cool shot on the GoPro. But that's all fair. But hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know if that's gonna happen, so let's go ahead and give it a, let's give it a, a test shot, you know what I mean? Or a test, yeah. test try, so. It's science, science, we don't know. All right, so, uh, the idea. Your cannon. <laughs> this is the best worst idea we've ever come up with. I don't know how this is gonna go. I, I, I have a pretty good idea about how this is gonna go. Are you gonna do it on top of the cart here? That's the idea. Okay. There we go. Three, two, one. Okay, so the results are in. It didn't exactly do what I thought. It's no. definitely worth another try, but it definitely parachuted. It yeah. definitely went up. The parachute took a little while to catch. I was very like, oh no. Yeah. It's not, and then boom, right there at the end. Perfect. So I think we're gonna try it another time, and I think we can probably get it to parachute a little, uh, a little earlier. Yeah. Wow, wow, can't believe it, first shot. That's so oh, let's we'll do go. it again, let's do it again, okay, let's do it. Okay, test number two, let's go ahead and Okay. All right. And then three, two, one. Whoa! Oh, that's awesome. Wow! Gosh, it worked. <laughs> it worked. That was. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, I literally thought of this at like midnight the night before and I was like, you know what would be another cool thing to do out in the desert? And like, I can't believe it works. It works very well. Very, very well. Woo! Okay, so success even on number two. That was amazing. <laughs> I couldn't believe I it. I was so skeptical. <laughs> I was keeping my skepticism to the maybe level. <laughs> Solid maybe. But it worked two times in a row. So now that we're more confident with this whole setup, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the GoPro off the bottom and we're actually gonna mount it to the top now so that we get more pressure in through the bottom of the dart, which is how it was originally designed. So we're kind of thinking Grab that, 
perhaps that we're losing some of the vertical momentum because we're not getting as much of a push outwards because the air is not damming in here. It may be just going around the GoPro. And right. so what we're gonna do is we're gonna duct tape this thing to the top looking out and then we're going to do the exact same thing but with this setup. All right, in three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> right at the last no. second. Hey. That was at ridiculous. the last second. <laughs> it was like, and I was like, that's Carol. gonna crash. And it was then something happened. Okay, so it does work. Not as well as not as well as what we thought. So yeah. we're gonna try to get a little higher. Okay, so Trace has came up with a really good idea. So I think the parachute's just not opening as soon as we want it to. I don't claim to be an expert about parachutes, but what I have read is that they're packed in such a way that they open up quickly when you need them to, right? So what we think what we're gonna do is we're gonna bunch it up so that all of the string points are at the bottom. Then we can wrap the excess string around it. And that way when it goes up, it should hopefully unravel, unravel and pop open. Got it. We'll see. We don't know. <laughs> I'm not a parachute expert either, but uh, it's definitely worth a try. So well, let's do it. Okay. Okay, little guy. I need you to do your thing. Do it right. Oh no! In three, two, <laughs> whatever. I cannot believe that worked. Unbelievable. Oh, I want to see oh that. Oh my place. gosh, that is so great. I'm gonna go get the GoPro. That was perfect. Okay, so for our last test, we decided that we don't really have any more variables to work with considering now that we've folded it, it works. Uh, we've done it every which way. It has, it has actually worked every single time, which has been unbel unbelievable. We're gonna up the PSI and just try to get it to go higher. That's the only other variable that we have at this point. We're gonna load it back up. We're gonna put 90 PSI in it, 15 PSI more than what we were dealing with, and... Hopefully we'll get some more height. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna fold it, the parachute the same way because it worked so well last time. It did, it worked perfectly. So we'll try that again. Okay, you ready? Sure am. Three, two, what? Well, like it worked, but like yeah, not as high. It, it, might, it, might, it might have caught. I think it. I think it. <laughs> I think it caught. That was a little. That was a little disappointing. On that one. I'm a little disappointed. All right. Totally so, disappointed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was like just not as good as I wanted it to be. I don't know. I think what happened is like the parachute actually pulled downward. Got caught on it. Something. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to try it one more time. Because um, we want to go out here with like the most the successful one. So right. we're going to we're gonna wrap this up a little tighter. Yeah. Um, and same method, but we're just going to wrap this up. Because we know that this works. Yeah. Um, so... I'm gonna leave you to that. Put that there. Okay. Here Parachute. We go. Three. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Well, do the same thing as last time. PSI isn't helping us. Yeah, maybe it's like blowing the parachute open. Yeah. Huh. What a conundrum. I think the problem is the PSI. Okay. I think the higher PSI is putting more air through the barrel. Okay. And that extra air is causing the parachute to open. Oh, too soon. Got it. I think. Okay. That's fair. I think we should go back down to 75. Okay. We might have reduced height. But it seemed like and the parachute also a didn't. And tuck too. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. 
All right. Attempt uh, something. Six, eight, yeah, 25, so whatever in, it is. Somewhere in there. Three, two, one. Yeah. That was beautiful. That was at least the best one. Yeah, I have to agree that was a good one. That was really good. I'm, I'm definitely okay for that to be the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we learned. It works. I'm so surprised. <laughs> I think everyone involved actually was surprised that that worked. <laughs> literally, I was like, here's the idea. <laughs> I like, literally can't believe that worked. So the, the whole device works. What we realized is though, that it's better if you wrap up the actual. Yeah. You gotta tighten those strings so that the parachute doesn't parachute. open on the ascent. Yes. And then, uh, other than that, it, too much PSI doesn't seem to be. Like, and what's interesting is like thing. that wrap is actually the same way that you wrap a regular parachute. You yeah. know, you, you don't jump out of the airplane in your parachute, right? Right. And yeah, so yeah, like. Yeah. This actually makes sense the way we developed it through this experiment. Yeah. Trace, you have a YouTube channel, don't you? I do. YouTube.com slash Trace Dominguez. Uno dose of Trace. New education videos every week. That link will be in the description below. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you really soon.